let's take a look at some basic algebra with Maple. So imagine you have this four-part problem. Here's a polynomial right here. You want to factor it, plot it, plug in x equals 5 and solve for y, and plug in y equals 50 and solve for x. As a starting point, let me just enter this complicated expression. In Maple, a lot of times, the hardest thing to do is just to enter the initial expression, because once you have that entered, oops, 9, not 19, the rest is sometimes pretty easy. So I've, I've typed it in. I put the semicolon in and enter. And that tells Maple to return output. In this case, it just copied what I typed in as a way for me to double check that it's correct. If you're new to Maple, the basic idea is once you've entered in something, if you want to go and do something to it, like factor it or plot it or plug in a value, all you have to do is right select the out, or sorry, select the output that Maple gives you and right click. And then Maple will give you what's called a context menu, things that you could do to this. For example, I could factor this particular polynomial. And when I click on that, Maple will actually show me what the syntax is. So if I ever want to factor again, I can just type in factor. And it tells me that this polynomial here factors into 3x minus 1 times x minus 3 squared. Now that's pretty nifty. By the way, this little 1 right here is referring to the blue output on line 1. This allows Maple to refer to things it said before. You can also do this. Suppose you want to copy this line down, but you don't want to copy and paste. What you can do is you can either go under the Insert tab, down to the word Label, and this will pop up a menu. And then you could type and say, I want the line labeled 1. And then it would return that. Now, if I hit a semicolon and hit Enter, I get line 1 repeated again, so it allows me to bring information from an earlier step down below. Or you could also type, type in Control-L, and that brings the label maker up immediately. There's line one again. So now let's take care of the plotting bit. How do you plot this guy? Well, again, the whole idea, the whole theme of this podcast is once you've got your algebra in, you select the output, you right-click, and then you look for your option on this list. And near the very, very bottom, there's plot. Now, if you want to make a, a plot with specific dimensions, you go to the plot builder. Remember, my specific dimensions are 0 by 10 minus 100 by 100. So when you get the plot builder, you select two-dimensional plot. The x-axis will always be default set from minus 10 to 10, so I can change that from 0 to 10. And if you want to specify a y-axis, then you go under the options. So under the options tab, there's the x range right here. I want my y range to go from minus 100 to 100 with Y on the Y axis. And you also have the option to do other changes, like you can change the color of the graph, which is default red to, say, royal blue. Or you can change the default thickness, which is thin, to, say, a medium graph. And you can sort of tinker around with these. Once you've made your choices, hit plot, and there's the graph right there, from 0 to 10, minus 100 to 100. And you can kind of see the syntax right here. To learn more about plotting, you can watch the plotting podcast uh, that's also available. So what are the other things I need to do? I want to plug in x equals 5 into this equation. OK, well, let me copy that down again. So down here, I'm going to return that label, Control-L. That's line label 1. Now I want to plug in x equals 5 into the sky to see what the y value would have been. So to plug in, I'll right click. Then unfortunately, plug in isn't here. But plug in is just slang for the phrase evaluate at a point. And if I click on evaluate at a point, I get x is equal to 5. So I can plug that in, and I come up with 56 as my output value. Sweet. Now the very, very last one is, I want to plug in y equals 50 to find x. So that's on this side right here. In other words, I want to set my polynomial equal to 50. Well, let's do that real fast. To get that polynomial, I'm going to just type in the line label for line 1 again. Well, heck, it's right here on line 5. So I'll type in line 5, and I want to set that equal to 50. So now I've got this equation right here. If I right-click on it, right next to this is solve. I can solve this for the variable x. And when I do that, whew, I get a complete algebraic solution, one that I'd be really hard-pressed to repeat um, with just paper and pencil. So let me try that again. Let me reselect this thing, go back down to solve, and instead of solve for the variable x, I will numerically solve, which means I'm going to get decimal values. And if I run it through, it says that the only possible solution is about 4.9. That means that the other two are imaginary. So there's a starting point for working with Maple and doing algebra with it.